Well, it's January the 3rd, 2015, and it is 65 degrees here in Kentucky. Now, you all from Kentucky know good and well what that means. As matter of fact, you from the Midwest states knows what that means. That means the bad stuff's coming right behind it. Matter of fact, I think by midweek next week, our highs are supposed to be in the 20s and lows in the teens. So, it's a mixed blessing when you live in Kentucky and you got warm weather. But anyway, the reason I made this video is because I want to do... A review on this Stansport one quart cast iron Dutch oven. I want to talk about the pros and the cons of this little Dutch oven and give you my overall opinion. I'm also going to be cooking some white beans and ham hocks, one of my favorites. Good wonderful southern dish. You know it's easy if you haven't made it before you should try. I'm going to show you how I show you how I make them. Um, there's a couple different ways. I either make them in the crock pot or as in this case in a Dutch oven on coals course with all white beans you need to let them soak overnight and pick out the ones that don't look so good uh, otherwise it could taint the flavor overall so just keep that in mind this is the first time I have used this quart Dutch oven so let me get my coals going and we'll cook a couple batch of white beans and ham hocks all right so I got a good bit of coals going and I've got the the uh, Dutch oven on those coals now this particular Dutch oven doesn't have legs on it so it can sit right on the coals. I had to cut the meat and the fat off of the ham hock bone because the ham hock bone was so big it wouldn't fit in the Dutch oven without uh, and, and still be able to put the top on it. So if you're doing it in a crock pot just throw it all in there. I really think the bone adds something to the overall flavor and the meat and fat will fall right off the bone. So we're going to go ahead and add the meat and the fat and I've also got a quarter of an onion cut up here we're going to add that to it as well you already see it's boiling it looks good Now I may have to add a little bit of water to this as time goes on. I also want to go ahead and add pepper to it now as well. I don't want to add salt because salt will actually increase the cooking time. I'm going to put a little bit of pepper in my hand. just going to sprinkle it over it. I'll add the salt at the last. Okay, while that's cooking, let's talk about the Stansport One Quart Cast Iron Dutch Oven. I bought it online. I paid 20 bucks and 80 cents, and that was with shipping. Now, the first thing I noticed when I got it was that the handle had a crack in it. I emailed the people I bought it from. They said, we will two-day you out a new lid. That was a week and a half ago. I hadn't seen it, so I don't expect. It's not a deal breaker with me. I mean, 20 bucks, you know. For a small quart cast iron Dutch oven, you know, I don't feel like I got burned any way you look at it. The quality is so-so. I think Lodge makes a, a one quart cast iron Dutch oven, but it's like twice as much, and I'm sure it's probably twice the quality as well. Um, there have been some reports that the lids don't fit on these very well. Mine fit just fine. I didn't have any issues at all. But the next thing I did notice was the handle that came with it. It definitely had an engineering flaw. If you picked it up any other way than straight up, the handle would come off. And of course, that would mean that you could possibly dump your vittles in the fire. So that was the first thing I did was I took the handle off and made my own handle out of 12-gauge galvanized wire that I use for my grape chalices. It works fine. If you get one of these, I highly recommend that you just disregard the, uh, the uh, wire handle that comes with it because it's junk. Just, just put it plainly, it's junk. Um, I do love this size of the Dutch oven, especially if I'm camping, and it's perfect for like a couple of people. However, if you're backpacking, it's probably going to be a different story. This little puppy comes in at 4 pounds and 11 ounces, and that is some significant pack material. 
Um, if I were going on an overnighter, maybe hiking a mile or two, I might think about bringing this. Any distances greater than that, it would stay at home. It really is best suited for campsites or just short distance camping and hiking type of things. So here's the pros as I see them, just to kind of run them down. The price, I mean 20 bucks, it's hard to beat. You can buy one, experiment with it, and you know, and you don't feel like you've been beat, you know, you don't feel like you've been price whooped on it, so it's a good deal. It's cast iron, I mean, with proper care, it should last a lifetime. If you take your kids camping now and you use one of these, they'll be fighting for it whenever you're dead and gone. So proper care, it'll last a lifetime and probably your kid's lifetime as well. It's a quart size Dutch oven. Seriously, I know that is cool. There's just not a lot of people making them out there. I guess it's just not worth their time. And if you're camp cooking for a family size group, you could purchase several of these uh, little Dutch ovens, put your veggies in them, then use your big Dutch oven for the main meal. That would be awesome. And they could actually take spoons and, and just, you know, take it right from the Dutch oven itself. That's awesome. Now the cons, again, is four pounds and 11 ounces. It almost knocks it out of the backpacking category altogether. The second con, the handle is junk. Just get rid of it. It's no good. And third, yes, it's cast iron, but in my case, the handle was cracked, so there's quality issues there. It's not detrimental to the use, but it is inconvenient. So is it worth it overall? I would say absolutely. I mean, for crying out loud, it's a $20 cast iron Dutch oven. I mean, that's just cheap. And you can use it, and you don't have to feel bad if something goes wrong with it. And it's a good starter model. So... I do recommend the Stansport 1 quart Dutch oven, cast iron, 20 bucks, you can't go wrong. Alright, looks like we're done. I'm going to add a little salt to it, mix it in, and then I'm going to be very, very glad we ain't got smell o vision because you jumped through there and whooped my butt to take this because it smells that good. White beans and ham hocks, give it a try. Jesus, thank you for this food. Thank you, thank you, thank you.